Special super thanks request, we have Hot Mulligan, Equip Sunglasses, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. This will be a standard tuning, no capo version. And I'll play through all the different parts right at the beginning. Afterwards, I'll go back through, give some more explanation for everything. Do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to let me know you like this video and want to see more requests like this. And now, let's get on into it. Okay, so once again, this is a standard tuning, no capo method for this. And uh, I think it works pretty well. We, we don't really go any lower than an F, so uh, just kind of some interesting chord voicings, really, nothing too wild. Um, this initial chord, uh, it's a F7 sus4, and basically we're just going to do the F power chord. You know, so we've got the 1 E3 on the A, and then we want the 1 on the D and a 3 again on the G. And that's about all we want of it right there. All right, and uh, the initial pattern here, we hit it, and then we just cut it, do some kind of like dead string scrapes here, you know? So we go just arbitrary, loose kind of, you know, dead string strumming. And into the next chord, we're going to keep a lot of what, you know, the same notes that we had. We moved the bass note, and this will be more like an A-flat 6 with a 9 uh, basically, we just kind of shift over to this, almost like a G shape, and we want the 4E, keep the 3 on the A, and then we can just bar 3s on the D and G under it, and then we want this 4 on the B under it. So it's almost this kind of like higher fret, little more condensed like G shape that we're doing here. Okay, so we went. And we, same deal, hit it dead strings in between, just loose arbitrary thing. And then basically we just shift over to an E flat power chord. And I like to keep it in this spot because it helps with the following chord. Um, if that's an issue for you, uh, you can do it a couple ways. You can do this way where we've got the one on the D, three on the G and the four on the B. All right. You can do it there or you can just do it normal power chord style with the you know six A, eight on the D and G. Up to you. If you're fine with moving quick, that's cool either way. But, you know, strum it, do the dead strings. And then the next chord, which is uh, B, sus, B flat sus4, uh, which I just like to, basically all we have to do is just, you know, take our one on the D, make it a 1A, and then just cover that one D as a three now. So we got one A with the three on the D and G, and we keep our four B. It's just a pretty quick move. All we have to do is that, basically. All right, so uh, dead strings after that, and then we just basically cycle those chords. And the little lead part that comes in, you get a little bit of overdrive on there, and this is kind of like a pre and post chorus thing. Um, nothing too wild. I like to keep it down low here and just do a little hammer on from four to six of the B. Give it a little vibrato there. And then come back off to the 4, hit the 5G, hit the 6B again, 
couple times, and after that second time, slide it up to eight, and then drop it down to four, and then just finish with the four to six B hammer on again. All right, and the second run through, pretty close to the same, we just end it a little different. Do the four, six hammer on B, off to four, then to the five G, back to the six B. Okay, now we end it different by coming up to the G, we go five, three, five, hit the four B back to five G. and you could just cycle those two uh, alternating patterns. And once we get to the chorus, it's essentially the same chords and progression as the verse, but the dynamic's different. Instead of like hitting and then cutting with the dead strings, we're basically just jamming out the chords like full blast with just kind of a continuous shuffling strum. All right, so same deal, the same F sus4. And we're just kind of loosely, arbitrarily shuffling through it like that. Um, you know, just kind of following the drums. Move to our, our A flat, six, nine there, you know. Okay, to the E flat five. And this one can be a little bit tricky to like, you know, mute the other strings. So that's kind of why I just have the middle finger resting on, on them up here just to keep them quiet. And again, if you don't like that shape there, then you can just move, try to move quicker and be at the, you know, a little easier to control it there if you want to do it there. And then the B flat sus4, again, you can do it here at the 1A with the 3 D and G, 4B. And if you don't like that, you can do it up here too as a more bar chord style here, you know, where we just bar the six and then just, you know, uh, do the, eights on the A, D, and G. Couple options there for you. Now for the solo or, you know, bridge, whatever you want to call it, the, uh, the chords for this just kind of shifts more to just straight up like power chords. And we just moved to a, a C power chord, so 3A with the five on the D and G. And it's that same kind of loose shuffling continuous strum. Okay, bump it up to the E flat at the six and eights. And we kind of split this measure. We do a couple beats there, then shift it up to the B flat at the six and eights on the E, A, D. Drop it down to the A flat at the four and sixes here. And the first run through, we just keep that going in through a second measure, but the last couple beats of that second measure, we just bring it right back to the B flat at the six and eights. All right, in the second run through, everything stays the same, but you know, instead of that at the very end, you know, just doing that couple beats of that B flat power chord, uh, we we almost basically just switched that last measure and just make it a straight up like B flat major chord. All right, we get the that same B flat bass note going, but we also hear this um, this D note on the G. All right, that comes in, so it's kind of like a B flat major now. Okay, that kind of rings out over the top of it with the B flat bass note. The solo, just a quick little back and forth in that same area as the uh, previous lead. And we're just going really quickly between a 4B to a 6. And, you know, kind of going 4 to 6, strumming it three times, a little hesitation, maybe a couple more times, and then just cycling through it again. Okay, something like that. Okay, cruise that three times, and after we do that, we do a little uh, sixes up to the eight, six, four on the B. All right, and you just cruise through that whole thing about four times, and at the very end, we get a little uh, scaling up where we just take that six B to eight, come down, hit the six E back to the eight B, hammer the six to eight E, and then finished with 10, 11 on the high E. <laughs> 